Good day, my friend over there. It's another opportunity to have you on the Incubator Media, which is our number one online youth radio. And you are welcome to this beat on Let's Talk About It with King Emmanuel. You know, we've had quite some discussion in the past, and we've talked about issues uh, concerning family, we talk about issues concerning siblings, we discuss issues on friendship, we discuss equally issues too on setting goals and how you keep going at this particular point in time. And we, we equally talk about love, we talk about depression as well. And so today we'll still be bringing you something that will take you to the next point. I have a big fish in the house and uh, I want to assure you that you won't uh, regret participating in this uh, program at this point in time. I remain your host, King Emmanuel, and today we are shifting our attention a bit to uh, a social life. We're moving into uh, how to build networks. We're looking at what, what should be your lifestyle, what you should do. The last time we discussed about low self-esteem, and it's like what we'll be discussing at this time will be things that really will build your self-esteem and not only that that will rub up on your career that will position you in the path of career growth and progress how you can be the kind of leader you want to be the kind of satisfaction you want to draw from your career these are the things we'll be discussing at this uh, section and i would love you you give me your full attention and let's make it a big time to really talk about it but before saying so much i want to uh, i won't mention his name but he's going to do that i want to introduce to you uh our brother friend and he is a trainer he's a professional that will be taking us at this uh, uh section at this time so i will allow him to introduce him sir you're welcome sir thank you very much it's nice to be on the incubator platform and uh, great job there king emmanuel thank you very much sir you please just tell us uh, about yourself what we need to know about you as we run through this uh, section at this time okay um adedayo samson olawi is my name i'm an hnl hr professional uh, my area of specialty centers around talent management, human resource business pa uh, partnership, uh, human resource information management. And um, I also have experience in the sales and marketing, sales operation, designing of uh, route to market, sales automation, and uh, generally sales capability development. I'm also an entrepreneur. I have passion for business, and raising people up and then by the grace of god i am a minister of the gospel thank you very much sir. like i told you we don't just bring anybody on this platform we bring people that are trusted and tested people that are he, he has like he told you a professional to the core you will have the opportunity to some of his profile and what he has done uh as we post some of these things on our platform so for today we will be looking at building social capital and networks so it will be telling us more about it now okay um it's my pleasure to be here today um today we'll be talking on something that is very very important especially when we are discussing with the youth and the youth with a bright future the youth that want to climb the ladder of success and um some time ago um i came across someone uh, who told me that there are very three major things that you need to climb the ladder of success. Number one, you need resources. Number two, you need relationship. And then number three, you need results. And was asking me, okay, what do you need? And each of these three elements, resources, relationship, and results, they are required at different levels. And based on who you are, now talking about youth, you need resources and you need relationship. And these are very great ingredients to your success. And most of the time, they are around you, but we don't know how to harness them. We don't know how to invest them into our lives. And that 
is exactly what we are going to do today. And the topic of today will be building social capital and network. It will help you to get to where you are going fast and getting there very, very well. All right, so thank you very much. So, uh, as without wasting time, we're looking at the nitty grit, okay? When someone talk of social capital or networks, is it like building houses or uh, what does it really look like? Is it like putting money in the back, uh, in the, in the banks or putting money in the stock market to make some more money or an investment house? So, sir, please tell us more about this. Okay, thank you, King Emmanuel. You are very correct. We can um, make reference to those things you have mentioned. So I would like to start by saying that a strong network is like money in the bank. You know, when you have money in the bank, this money in the bank can be useless. Uh, some years ago, First Bank announces that they have accounts with huge sums of money and nobody is coming forth to claim this money. They had to display, I mean, display the uh, contacts and the information about the account. And we have this money here. The owners are not claiming them. Yes, when you have money in the bank, it's very, very nice. But money in the bank cannot translate into any other thing. It's just like paper in your room or paper elsewhere. Now, your social network is like that money in the bank. It's like it kept resources. Mm. It's like, you know, uh, 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 you, you, you have a deposit, mm. like a gold it. mind mm. that you have there. Mm. If under your daddy's house, you have a gold mind there. Of course, if you know that there is a gold mind there, it doesn't bother you, it doesn't uh, benefit you until it is extracted. Mm and then it turns into money. That is how social capital is. So when we are talking about social capital, we're talking about your social relationships. We're talking about your social network. We're talking about that network that help you to build visibility, that connect you, and that makes, that connect you with people that will influence you. It does those three things for you. It builds your visibility. It connects you. And then it brings you to those that will influence your career and take you where you are. And of course, opportunity is the, uh, is, is the, is the spice, spice of life. And this social network is what will connect you to that particular opportunity that you are actually looking for. So when you are going to build and nurture your network, that is what you need now as a youth. You have people around you, individuals, they have the resources you need. There are a lot of resources you need. You don't have access to them, but you can have access to them and much more through the relationship. But not just relationship, but the relationship that you are next, the relationship you take advantage of, and your relationship you use to help you moving forward. So by definition, social capital focuses on how social relations help us to accomplish and produce things. So that means you are using, if you are going into a business, you need money. And if you are going into success in life, achievement in life, you don't need money only. You need people. You need relationship. So now, how do you use this social relationship to accomplish and produce your desired expectation and your desired result, that is your social capital. So it's like the money you get and you plunge it into a business and you're expecting results. Mm -hmm. So this is in terms of relationship. And this relationship connects you to resources on and it. it to result. In result. And this is firmly based on trust and relationship. Wow. The people you trust, the people you relate with, the people you move with, and their influences naturally comes to you as a valuable asset. That is a sort of uh, intro into what we mean about social capital. capital. Thank you very much. This is uh, really, really great. And you will pick things he's been, he's been saying at uh, this time. He told us you need a relationship to get a result, uh, to get a relationship. You need people around you build a sound relationship that will lead into a result. 
So it's important. Who do you have around you? What are the people that you keep around you? Maybe where you're sitting now, you see one of the gold mine. No, you needed someone to help you to check what you have, to be able to enhance it, so that you can get the desired result. Someone said that life can be predictable if all things work together. Life can be predictable if you have the right relationship and that will in turn give you back the desired resources. Then your success is cheaply done, is predictable. And that's what has been able to tell us. To show capital are things we actually need to succeed. People use it outside there and they get to wherever they need to get to. You have me aware that this time we're not talking of illicit relationship. We're not talking of maybe doing things that doesn't really befit you. We're not talking of maybe you need to befriend somebody. We're not saying that you need to bribe somebody. We're not saying that you need to pay kickback or something. No, that's not what we're saying. What we're saying is there are things around you, there are friends around you, there are friendships around you that could take you to where you need to be. Someone said what you've been the next five years, two things, the kinds of people that you stay around, that you work with your friends and the books that you read. Okay, so you know, so all these are adding together relationship. A book could be a resources. Then when you have two of them together properly, you get a desire, a fruitful result that shows that your result will not come cheaply. You need to work. You need to work. And that is what we are saying. I hope you understand as you go bit by bit. Remember, we talk of relationship. We talk of resources. And then each of these properly added together, give back to a result. And the result you get, depending on how you enhance the two, relationship and resources, how you enhance them, determines the kind of results you get. But we, we wanted you to be successful, to get good results, and that's why we are having this kind of discussion at this time. I will allow him to continue to show you more on how can you be, because if you're saying all this, the question will be, okay, how can I build these social uh, networks that really work at this point in time, sir? Okay, thank you very much. And um, when we talk about social capital and social networking, we're actually talking about people that surround you and the value they bring to the table, the resources at their disposal, what they can help you do. Someone may not be able to give you money, but they can give you a simple card to somebody that will take you to your destiny. That is what we are talking about. Mm -hmm. You need to harness them. And where this becomes disheartening when we talk about youth is that this set of people, youth of today, underplay them. They don't look at them. They, they just look at, he doesn't have money. Let me tell you something. Somebody may not have money, but he knows somebody who can make you rich. If you now look at the person with the eyes of, he has no money, he has no good car, look at the house he's living, but he has resources. Some people have intelligence. Some people have very robust experiences while they were still working. And that some people have very uh, great counsel that they can offer to you. So this social capital is a pathway to valuable asset. You cannot place value on advice. You cannot place value on connection. You cannot place value on somebody linking you up to a place of opportunity. Take for example, you are building websites, you are an, you are an IT person, you are a techie an individual. If you bring up your products, you bring up your applications, you, bring, you need a platform. And if the only platform you know is the platform of your friends that will use your app to just play around and all that, and it won't translate into money. But you have somebody who may not give you money, who may not buy you a car, who may not be a big person, but who will see your app and he sees the future. And it sees where you can plug in that app and it will make a name for you and you become what you ought to be. And the person calls you in and said, I have a platform. I have a professional platform. Can you put up your, your, your app there? And everybody begin to say, can I have a meeting with you? My company need this app. 
Can your app do this? Before you know it, you have become a business owner. That is what we talk about building your social capital and network. So the question is, how do you build that network? You know, I told you, you have to build it. It's like gold mine. It cannot come out on the ground on its own. It has to be dug up, discovered, refined, reprocessed, and used. And most of this social capital we have around us, because they are things and people around us, we undermine them. So it needs to be built. Understand that it's not automatic. You have to build it. You have to cultivate it like a plant before it yields a fruit to you. Number one, be a person of value. Be a person of value. What do you bring to the table? What's the value about you? See, great networks look for people of value. Nobody will be ready to recommend you, ready to send you somewhere, ready to open up their network and platform to you if you don't have anything to offer. Everybody wants to protect their reputation. I cannot recommend you who is not of good behavior. You are not sound. You don't know what you are doing. I recommend you, you may behave, you rub off on my reputation. Be a person of value. When we talk about this social network, there are not people you go to to say, please give me 1,000 naira. And tomorrow you come again and say, I see my data is exhausted. Can you buy data for me? No. These are not people you should not even be talking about money. You should be telling them, I can do this, I can do that. Please give me a try. And they see that you are a bunch of assets. You are a bunch of value. So first of all, look into yourself. What can you offer? What can you do? What is the value you have? And everybody has value. Yes, yes. But not everybody knows their value. Everybody has a worth. But not everybody knows their worth. The beginning of your success in life is to know your value and to know your worth and then begin to project it. Some people know their value, they know their worth, but they are not projecting it in the right place. And so it's more or less like you are not anywhere. So first of building your network is be a person of value. Be a valuable person. Then networks will be looking for you. People will be coming and say, I have a platform. I, I see something in you. What I'm saying is that let people look at you. When they, when they relate with you, let them see value speaking forth out of you. And then they can recommend you to their networks. Exactly. Number two, remember that people relate with you based on how they see you. Mm, how they see you. You may have value inside. inside. But what is can your they see outside? outside? saying? Mm. I pity a lot of youth today who are worshippers of celebrities, mm. who are worshippers of stars. Mm. Mm. You see, those things you are seeing in the stars, that is what their network requires. Mm. Those people wearing tear jeans, because they are stars, they are entertainers. And they're being paid for they are paying for that thing. That is what their network, in fact, their network is expecting them to do crazy things. So that the more money they have. The more money. They, they will build network. You know, we like crazy things. Ah, look at what this person has ah, and all that. But is that what your network requires? Your network may require somebody who is well-dressed, sane, intellectual, intelligent, logical. somebody can, can logical and can solve problems. And you are coming as an entertainer. You are coming and all that. You have already given a wrong impression about yourself. First appearance matters. So how are you presenting yourself? So don't copy anybody. Don't copy Be yourself. Be yourself. In fact, look into yourself, see your value and see your worth. Dress and appear according to your value. Because they say imitation is a limitation. Exactly. Mm. Don't imitate people. Mm. You understand? I I imitation means you don't have the correct thing. You just want to make up. Mm. Like people say make up. Make up. The, the, the thing that is beautiful, you don't make up. Yes. It doesn't require makeup. It's it doesn't original. It's original. Mm. So makeup means that 
the originality is not there. So people relate with you with what they can see. What can people see in you? Are you of a good character? Are you people that naturally greet people? I see youth today who doesn't know how to greet. Lack of respect. Do you know that greeting can open doors for you? You just you know, wear your clothes and you are bouncing around. You see elders. You see people passing. People living in your community. People living in your area. People in your church, in your mosque and everything. And you don't relate with them. You don't even greet. What is the basic level of relationship? Greetings. Where does relationship start from? I greet you. You greet me. Ah, good morning, sir. Good morning, ma. How are you today? How is everything? The, the youth that cannot greet, is it the one that will offer help? Somebody is trying to do something. Somebody's car just broken down. I, can I help you, sir? For free. Can I do an assistant for you? Volunteer. Volunteer for you? Mm. you know, that's why youth doesn't want to volunteer today. Mm. Everybody wants to blow. I, I know you will blow, but there is something you need to do before you blow. <laughs> there are somebody that will help to, 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 to you know, we say something want to blow, it must first of all enlarge. enlarge. If, you, if you want your, you know, those children, they will take a cellophane, they will blow it, mm -hmm. and then, bam! You know, you have to be expanded before you can blow. You understand? So, what is that person, that personality? What can people say about you afar off without hearing you? Mm. What can they see with you afar off and they, and, and they want to come closer to you? There are some of us we do not understand that the way you dress, you will be addressed. And the way you dress, give impression about you without people even asking you any question. They just conclude. They just assume he's not a good person. Like, so, like Moses was taken Moses, for an, an Egyptian. Egyptian. Yeah. Who helped you to this? An Egyptian helped me. He because the way he's dressing, let us understand, I am not, you know, talking about dressing today. I am saying appearance. How do you appear? You may be well-dressed, but you are not well-mannered. What kind of manner do you have? When you are in the public bus, what is the manner you have? Those are places you can get connections. Mm. Those are the places you can be. Because see, there are some people, if you see them just on, uh, you know, on the outlook, they don't look like they can offer anything to you. Mm. But they have something they can offer. offer. If you go along the road, you will see the father of a minister, the father of a commissioner, the father of a director in the federal ministry. These are people that one signature you are in, but you will not see it written on their father. You will not see it written on their brother. You will even want to pack their brother or their sister aside. aside. But when you are good mannered, you 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 have a good appearance. You are as parents speaks for you. These people you will be used to connect you. Not everybody, but the ones that you need. Your own divine helper. It will appear. Number three, don't be a taker, but be a giver. Mm. Don't be a taker, but be a giver. It's very solid, King Manu. Yeah. Very it's, solid. It's deep. It's deep. We have youth today who always want to take. Mm. Ah, okay, what do you have for me? Policeman. What do you have for me? If 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 that brother, that man, that uncle, that person in your street is not giving you anything. Uh, he's coming. You will pass the other way. Hmm. Don't be a taker. Be, be a giver. giver. You see, what it means is that when you are giving, you are showcasing your worth. Hmm. You are showcasing your value. Hmm. When you give. Hmm. What do you have to give? Hmm. King Imana just mentioned a particular word now. He said, volunteer. Yeah. What do you volunteer to do? Work for free. Work for free. And then you will showcase what you can do. You said you have left school and you don't know what to do. You have this competence. Volunteer it. Your landlord association in your area. Do you volunteer anything to do for them? Your CDA. Do you volunteer anything for them? You volunteer. Don't be a taker. Don't always be looking for where they will give you things. Look for how you can give out. As you are giving, don't forget this. As a giver, you showcase your worth and your value to people. Who knows who is looking at you? 
Who knows you will you will help and he will announce you. Exactly. And you don't even know who you meet in such arena. So people are attend uh, conferences just to volunteer to help them put things this here and there. And somebody said, "Hello, young lady, mm. what are you doing? Do you Come here? and cards, complimentary card exchange, and, and from there, story the, very changed. easy. Instead of you going to that man and say, hey, please, I needed a job mm -hmm. and this and that, said, what can I help you do? I see you are doing X, Y, Z. Let me quickly give you an example. There mm -hmm. was a guy that got a fantastic job as an accountant. Mm -hmm. He was an accountant graduate, mm -hmm. but he came into Lagos and there is no job. He was staying with one of the aunts and the aunt has a, a store, mm -hmm. a provision store. Mm -hmm. And then he, this guy humbled himself, went to sit with the, the auntie. To, to, and he started sell. asking the auntie, can I see your books? Okay. I said, no, which books? I don't have books. You don't have record of stock, sales record, sales record stock, expenses stock. and all that. Mm. Ah, he said, let me begin to open up that for you. Mm. And he started opening it. He opened ledger account for him, do this, do this, and help the auntie to start tracking the accounting system. In mm. fact, he set up the accounting system sure. for that business. Now, an opportunity came. Mm. Remember, he has never worked before. He just, started with, the he just started with the sister. He's not, he's not saying that. And then just stay, go, going around, around watching movie and saying, I don't have anything to do. He, he, he started was from there. Where he is and he, he, he saw an opportunity. Mm. I will get to the point of opportunity. Mm. He saw an opportunity to practice what he has learned. And then when he got there, he, he said, Okay, I'm an accountant. Let me set up an accounting system. Now he got an opportunity. And the company said, Young man, you have just graduated. We said we need an accountant. What can you do? Tell us what, what have you done? done. He wow. said, I have been able to set up accounting system for a small and medium enterprise. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it. I did this, I did this, we tracked this, we tracked that, we tracked this, and as I was able to do that, uh, profit grew from so, 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 uh, uh, expenses was money to this level, losses was this and that. Did they give him the job? Of course, he got the job. Wow. In fact, this one you said, remind me of uh, a training tour I attended sometimes back. Uh, the facilitator was telling us, he, he was at a point, he went for a training. Then after the training, there was no job. He said, but what he did was, okay, I, I don't have money to do transport. So within my facility where I can trek to, he look at 50 companies in that area, mm -hmm. then list them out. Mm -hmm. And what was he doing? Mm -hmm. He was going to each of them. Now see, I have been taught how to do desktop mm -hmm. publishing. I can do networking. Mm -hmm. I can fix some system if, if need be. Just give me a call. But no, he went. He went, went for presentation. They went there presenting. So I said, okay. And I'm not asking you to pay me. <laughs> Just allow me to work for you for free. That's a giver. Yes. The first one said no. The mm -hmm. second one said no. Mm -hmm. The third one said no. But it was not the time. See. It eventually got to one that said. Are you okay? He said, I'm perfectly okay. <laughs> I just want to show you, like, what he's been saying, what he has. Yeah. I have this knowledge, mm. but I, I, I don't want you to pay me. I just want to work for you for free. And I said, okay, you can come inside. Mm. And so he came inside and was given, okay, you sit down here, you set up this, you mm. do this one. And he said, within, he told himself that within the first two weeks, they must feel his impact in that company. And what did he do? He said, look at their training uh, uh, manual. It was not well typed. Mm. A, a sudden, second day, he typed it. everything, mm. put it in a very good uh, Excel, uh, yeah, yeah. then moved some to PowerPoint, okay. and he kept it in the drawer. Then he said again, he was observant of the environment. He observed that the staff, that's from second day, the staff, they do come late. Hmm. They come in around eight, nine. Yeah. And by four, they are, they are picking their bags. Hmm. So he said the MD comes in like seven, seven thirty. So what he decided to do from the second day was to be in office early enough. Though that day the MD still beat him yeah, to eat. Hmm. And the MD was already in like seven thirty. He came in like seven thirty five there about. So then while others are going in the in the evening after by, by 4 p.m., he stayed back because the MD was still in his office. Yeah. He comes, 
early he left as the last person. So he said, I decided to say, okay, I can get some other things to do, was fixing some other things, clearing some other things. And then while they've gone, he still stayed back yeah. to study more about the company, mm -hmm. to even know more about what they do. Mm -hmm. So he said, like on the fourth day, the MD came out. He said, hello. He was the one he saw. The I said, yes, I'm here. Okay, can you do this for me? He said, call him inside. He did something for him. That happened the fourth day, the fifth day. Then by, by second week, he has became an acquaintance of the MD. Another did not know what they are missing. Wow. Answer. To call the long story short, at the end of the month, he was paid. Imagine. He was paid. Because not he... only paid, mm -hmm. he was not given employment letters. Because he contributed. Yeah. He? And Every so employer is looking for someone that will contribute to their business. They look for assets and not liability. Yeah. My question to you today, are you an asset or liability? Mm. As you are going around, ask yourself, am I an asset or liability? Mm. When you are going to look for a job, before you are going to look for a job in that organization, ask yourself, what am I? I of course, I'm not going to be a liability. Mm. You ask yourself the question, how can I be an asset to this company? What is their problem? How can I use my skills and, and, and little experience to meet their needs? Every company looks for people that solve will problems. solve a problem. Mm -hmm. And when you can solve the problem, they are ready to pay to you. Let's go to number four. It said, protect your influence mm -hmm. as a key. As a key. Wow. wow. Deep. Imagine you, you have moved from Victoria Island mm -hmm. and you have arrive in your house in Songo, maybe around 11 o'clock in the night, and you remember that you left your key, house key, at VI. How do you enter the door? No way. What will you do? It's already 11. <laughs> See, you don't know the value of something until you lose it. Mm -hmm. So when you have this influence, don't misuse it. Mm. Influence, networks, and relation can build and they can destroy you. Mm. So you protect that influence as key. The individuals who gave you help, the individuals who advised you, the individuals who gave you that everybody needs a push or a lift. Mm to do something. There are many things I've done in my life. Somebody pushed me to do it. Mm. But eventually it was my game changer. Mm. Mm. I love that. Do you understand? Yes. So when you identify those people and those things, keep them. Mm. When you go to talk with somebody and it gives you nuggets, mm. nuggets that get you thinking, mm. nuggets that makes you have sleepless night because you are thinking about yourself. Don't miss it. Mm. Don't misuse that opportunity. Mm. Hold it as the key. It will help you. Don't lose it. Because when you will get to the point in your life, when you need that key to enter to the next level, it's no longer available. Mm. And you cannot track back. back. It will be too late. Mm. So, protect your influence as a key. As a key. Mm. What influence am I talking about? Mm. The people you can relate with. Mm. It's not everybody that has access to the person you have access to. Sure. Some people are dying to say, let him even pick my call. Mm. But you, you can go and knock on the door and they will open, they will open to you. So protect it. Then number five is uh, talking about talk is cheap. Mm. Walk the talk. Don't be a talker, be a doer. Do what am I saying? See, network, I say network can build or can destroy you. If you are a talker, like I know many youth today are talkers. Oh, I can do this. Oh, come on, this, this, and that. You have the vocabulary, you have the English, you have everything. Make sure that there is actionable capability behind what you are promising to do. One of my boss will say, don't over promise and under deliver. Hmm. Hmm. Don't over but on the promise and, and over, over deliver. deliver. Wow. wow, I love that. I so love when that. you do that, then it's going to help you. So talk is cheap. Mm. I can do this. Don't say what you cannot do. Take for example, 
you meet somebody a well-respected individual you have talking into i can do this i can build network i can do this i have these skills though you read computer science though you did uh, digital networking and all that but you are not grounded mm. and yet to impress the contact he said i can do this i can do that and on the basis of that he recommend you flop and you flopped the way it built you that is the way it's going to crash you down so don't be a talk don't don't talk you see i wouldn't say don't talk please talk well talk will save you many times talk some people want to see you they want to feel you as you are talking talk but make sure that everything you are saying there is an actionable capability behind it mm. you can walk right, yeah. your talk. talk you can walk your talk mm. then it just be a talker, talker. Just be, a talker. be a doer mm. whatsoever you say make sure you are able to do it then finally don't alienate people with your behavior mm. don't alienate people some people will <clears throat> something happened to me some years ago and i discovered that the number of people that know you and you don't know them but they know everything about you they are more than the number of people you know you are correct absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> there are some people who are monitoring you they see mm. the way you pass mm. they see the way you go and they form their impression about you mm. <laughs> they form their impression about you mm. so there are how many people have you sent packing from your life because of your behaviors because of your attitude because of your disposition because you don't you don't realize that what you do is an input into your life and you will reap the output mm. but when the output comes you refuse to blame yourself and say this is happening because of what i've done don't alienate people. By See, God. life can be very, very nasty sometimes. It can be under pressure, you know, because things are not working the way you actually wanted it. But that doesn't mean you put it on your head. Don't become, don't become a sadist. Mm. Just because this. Be cheerful. Mm. Life is good. Mm. Things may not be good today, but definitely tomorrow is going to be better so be hopeful be hopeful mm -hmm. and carry that hope with you you don't know when your opportunity will come mm -hmm. if you carry your problem on your head the day your opportunity will come you will greet the opportunity with sadness and sorrow and the opportunity will fly in you. Mm -hmm. be careful the way you do things be careful how you talk no. be careful how you carry yourself your courage matter irrespective of what is happening around you if you are a child of God, you are a Christian, put your hope in God. Uh, Jesus Christ said, how, much, how many of you, by thinking and worrying, can add a cubit to his stature? He cannot. Mm. He, he cannot add to you, but I tell you, he can diminish a lot of things from you. So please don't alienate people. Don't underrate people. Don't look down on people. Most of the time, your divine helper do appear so. Mm. Mm. They appear as normal person. Mm. If you don't discover them, then they are gone. Mm. So take note of these six things mm. to build your network. Mm. Let me do a rundown. Mm. Be a person of value. Okay. Remember that people relate with you based on who you are. So your courage, your appearance, your presence, it matters too much. Mm. Don't be a taker. Be a giver. Be a... Let people see what you can do. Give more than you are, you are taking. You are taking. Mm -hmm. Protect your influence as a key. Mm -hmm. When you eventually get this network, please protect it. Mm -hmm. Don't say, I has helped me before now, so you move on. Who says cannot do you again? Mm -hmm. Who says that it's not just saying, let me try him with this little. Let's see what we, he will be done. Mm -hmm. Then talk is cheap. Don't be a talker. Eh? Be a doer. Walk your talk and then be very careful the way you behave. Don't alienate people based on your behavior. These six things, there are so many, I will challenge you to go on the net and read more on social capital. It's a, it's a beautiful topic. Mm -hmm. 
it applies to every area of life this is just six one to engage you and then steer up this uh, uh, interest in you to know that there is a network a capital you already have but you need to build it put it to use and it will give you the, the desired success wow. thank you very much this is very very deep i the the point where apt and the point where were deep i, I wish you listen and listen again because every one of us had equal opportunity there is no one that got created without anything he has dropped something that can make you even bigger than dangote in you if you mind you have something in you that can make you you know bigger than even big gate would not yeah. be able to stand beside but you need to discover it. you need to settle down to discover like one of my mentors who said don't be a consumer mm -hmm. be a distributor mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. hand that gives a producer a producer <laughs> a producer a producer yeah and the hand that gives a producer is the senior brother of a, a of a distributor. a distributor because without a producer there, there will be a distributor to and there will not be anything to consume exactly <laughs> so please and the hands that give never lacks mm. the hands that gives never lacks because i've not seen a pipe that conduct water for drinking that ever go thirsty so the more you give the more you get and that was why pay attention to yourself i've been telling you for long now you have to be intentional about living your life it has to be deliberate nothing happens until you push Nothing works until you walk it. Mm. So, and Newton said, everything remains in the state of rest until a force acted on it. You are the force at this time. Stop wasting all this time. All this time you are spending on season movie and the rest. I just said you not watch movie. But, prioritize your time. There are even movies. Add that's... more to your there head. Are, there are, if you watch the right movies. The right movies. Movies, there are movies that will steer up your thoughts. Your thoughts. There are diff there are movies and there are movies. Yes. There are there are there are life fiction movie that talks about life lessons. Life lessons. And then after that you can go back home and then deploy it. Not movie that will appeal to your emotions, yes. make you feel good. Yes. Ah, that actual food is, is the film is very great. The, the question is, what do you learn about it? I, I, I used to watch cartoons with my kids. Mm. And then in the end, at the end of the cartoon, I always ask the question, what did we learn from this cartoon? Mm. Because there is always a lesson, a lesson in every of those cartoons. Those cartoons. I said, what do you learn from this cartoon? Mm. And then they gradually they now see that I'm not just allowing them to watch the cartoon, I want them to pick the, learning, the, the life learning. lesson mm. that we have there. And so when they do something that, uh, uh, that, that, that go against what we learn, I quickly ask them, is that what we learn from Sophia the first? Mm. Is that what this person did in that place? Ah, you are trying to do what that person did. Do you know the result? Are you ready for that? Mm. It resonates. It resonates. Yeah, anyway. and, and, and they pick. And so the question to you is, everywhere you find yourself, whatever you are doing that you are motivated to do, what is the end result? It must, daily you must add something to yourself. You must had is something someone said abraham lincoln said i don't have any respect for a man that is today not better than who he was yesterday so every day you appear you must come fresh you must come good and i don't know what you pick from this talk about today building your social uh, networks building your capital your social capital and networks try and think more about it look around you start with where you are start with what you have don't look for anything extra god has made everything in you have somebody to help you to discover if you need to do some psychometry tests on the website you have them on google for them to to discover your personality to look at your temperament to look at who you are so that this will help you furthermore to walk on the path you need to walk i'm trusting god that God has helped us thus this far to discover who we are, our wealth, and our social capital will equally help you. Till we see in another time again, I want you to keep engaging. Be hopeful. There is nothing to lose your head on in this, in this life as we live. If, even though it's not pleasant today, tomorrow will be better because as long as you are alive today, there is hope for you. When you cut a tree today, after some time you see it springing back again. 
You are much more better than a tree. You are much more better than animals. You are much more better than a fish in, in the water. Your life is as much as important to God. Till we meet next time, keep succeeding and let's have your story, your success story. You can check on us on all our social media, the incubator media. You can see us on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. You can get us. And this edition, if you still want to listen again, you can go to our YouTube page. You have opportunity to listen again. You want to send a, a, a message, you can send a message to our, our WhatsApp line. is 4502 You can send a WhatsApp. You have questions, you need counseling, you need guidance. We'll be able to make all this available for you and don't forget our facilitator today is a coach he is a trainer who will make his details available for you on on our facebook page you can how you can connect to him and you can learn more on what we've discussed today i trust that you are in next line for success if you don't give up because god has not given up on you and i'm sure you will not give up I see you on the ladder of success. I see you on the top next time. Till we see again, the same time, the same station. All I'm saying is, keep discovering about yourself. Keep learning about yourself. Using what you have to make your life better. And God bless.